Hi everyone, in this video, we will look at the final script in the collection of Obsidian scripts created by Mike McLennigan. We will today look at how to automatically create a weekly and a daily plan. You might be wondering, Obsidian already does daily notes. So what's the advantage of this? Well, with this, you can make the daily template more dynamic and if you're familiar with coding, pull in data from a lot of online sources. So let's get started. The very first thing you will need to do is check if you have Ruby installed. To do that, just type ruby hyphen v in your command prompt. The second thing you will need to do is to visit the GitHub repository and click the download zip option. Then save it in a location of your choice. After you save the file, you will need to unzip it. In my case, it's already done. Let me just open the folder. Right click on journal.rb and open with your preferred editor. I'll open mine with Atom. Depending on how you want your daily and weekly file to look, there are few changes we'll need to make. In the fourth line where it says file path, let's just change that to add our path. So we'll put Dropbox, Obsidian, Flat, Para. Do not forget, and this is very, very important to put the slash in the end. Otherwise it will not work as expected. Next, I want to change the date format from year, month, day to day, month, year. So I'll just change that in line six and seven. And we'll change the lines 45 to 51. Also, I would like to show the year first and then the week number. So we'll change that in line 8 and 53. The developer is pulling in weather data from Environment Canada. So if you want to change that, you can do it in lines 12 to 14. One thing to remember is that this script will not override the daily notes for today. If it already exists, it'll just append to it. Now let's run the script in terminal and see how it works. So we already have our terminal open and you do CD, then you drag the folder from here, do enter and to run, you just do Ruby space journal dot RB and that's it. This will run the script and this will create everything for us. It's written this to flat para as well as it's written this file to flat para. Now you can see that I had defined the day to come first then the month and then the year. That's how it's written it. And uh, the week number to come first and then the week. That's how it's written it. So now let's see how it appears in our vault. This is our vault. Now you can see it's created this weekly template for us, which I find is very interesting. So you can define your big three tasks over here. Then you have your daily stuff. The developer has neatly given easy access to all the daily notes that you'll be creating on these days. So for example, today, if we were to go on today's note, because it is already created, this is how the daily note looks. This weather that it's pulling in again, it's pulling in for Canada, where the developer is from. And uh, you can add your to do's over here. You can add your daily notes over here. I obviously will not. I do not use this. I use my own uh, day template. So if you want to see how that looks. This is how it looks. And if I want to pull in my data for, for example, if I want to pull in data for the weather, then I have that as well set up. All I need to do is just put exclamation weather and it'll ask me where it I am from. I'll say, I'll define where it is from and obviously it'll auto populate what I've given it. And you can see I'll have a nice table over here. And obviously I'll put, put in weather as well. So I can always look back and see when, what the weather was like on this day, for example. So I particularly do not use this, but if you are comfortable with scripting in Ruby, or if you want a script, which is more dynamic, then by all means, go ahead for this. I will be implementing this. I like this a lot. So what he's done is you can easily go back and see what you had done previous year. And also you can go back to your weekly plan directly from the daily notes itself. Besides this, it also gives you access to the weekly note that you must have created for last week. You can define your tasks for the week over here. You can put in your biggest wins, what work and what didn't. 
also you can define what will you keep improve start or stop based on the above so it's overall it's a very interesting and a dynamic template that we can use especially with all the daily logs cataloged here directly for us also there's an inbuilt method of using weekly templates in obsidian as well basically if you don't want to use daily notes so here you can just come and see the format reference and just define the week number and that will be what will be shown obviously you won't get a note daily you will get a note weekly for that but if you want it more dynamic with all this then this is a very good way to go so that's weekly notes and with this we complete the obsidian utils collection if you found this video helpful then please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you have any suggestions or comments then please leave a comment below if you haven't yet seen the other scripts that are part of this utility collection then please watch them as well they really extend the functionalities of obsidian Thank you so much for watching.